Oh, this is my part two. Um, I wanted to read <clears throat> my part two of my first video, and I wanted to read uh, Psalms. Hold on, let me read Psalms. Sorry, give me a minute. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, Psalms, Psalms 23, okay? I'm going to read this. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone really knows what of this scripture, but everyone should know what this is. If anyone who has, uh, has the Bible with you, you should definitely take your Bible out. You have the chance the reason why I have my Bible right now and reading my scriptures is for you to know that Thanksgiving is in a couple more, you know, a uh, couple more days uh, um, until Thursday. And I'm going to read the scripture, uh, the 23rd song, uh, Psalms. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall, uh, let me repeat that again. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside quiet waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me in paths of a righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare us a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil, my comfort went over. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So this is the 23rd Psalms. Read the 23rd Psalms every 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 morning and at, and at night. So my husband's mom always wanted me to read the Psalms 27 every morning and every night. And yes, there is such thing as fasting. When you fast in you have to fast in and pray when you fast in. Not, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't be Jesus. You can, you can. I mean, nobody cannot be Jesus because Jesus, he fasted in forty days and forty nights. So there's no impossible way that any man on this earth can do like Jesus did. But what you can do is that maybe you can give like about, hmm, maybe about maybe four to five hours without even eating and just read your Bible because that's when you start off slowly and then from there then you can able to start fasting even maybe two days straight but it depends it depends how people are but it's you know if now if people have no choice to eat then I recommend you read your Bible first and then you eat because and also pray your food because sometimes you never know what you have in your food or whatever it is. So my advice is that pray over your food. So this is my Psalms. Um, Psalms 27. This is what I'm going to read. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? When even when evil men advance, when evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies where, where am I? I'm sorry. When my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. 
Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple, for in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his, in his dwelling. He will hide me in shelter of his tabernacle, and set me and set me high upon the rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call the Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, would I seek. Do not hide your face far uh, uh, do not hide your face from me do not turn your servant away in anger you have been my helper do not reject me or forsake me O oh god my salvation though my father and my mother uh, though my father and mother forsake me the lord will receive me Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in the straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, breathing, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart, and wait for the Lord. Amen. So this is the 27 Psalms. I just read the 23rd Psalms. 23rd Psalms and the 27 Psalms. Well, you know, it's good to read your Bible every day. That's just, it is a must, you know, because People nowadays, they forget who God is. You know, they forget who God is. And this is this is my life. This is where, where we start off in our Bible is read and study. It's not just reading like it's a story or a fairy tale. No, you got to read your Bible. This is my belief. And if... And, Anyone who wants me to read and request it, you know, we're re uh, re um, and also talk about what this Bible says, yes, I would definitely continue with this. Every Sundays, I would definitely do this every Sundays if I get the chance. Like I said, I'm, I do, I'm not, I can't promise you anyone, but I will try my best to, you know, read the scriptures if any scriptures that you want me to read you know please comment down below and please subscribe and give me the lights because that's that's when you know you know that's i mean that's when you know that you have have a true faith of god if anyone who has true faith of god you click down below and subscribe now so Read your Bible and believe and have faith. Not just, oh, yeah, I got to know these words. No, you got to believe and have faith. Trust in your heart. Trust in God. Trust in him. Because God comes first before you. So God comes first. So read. Amen. Salute.